Hey guys, Michelle here from Cashel Creations, and I wanted to show you and share with you a walkthrough on one of my um, albums I put together. I came across this Heidi Swap Carefree Paper Pad, and the interesting thing that I've never noticed before, or maybe I just never paid attention, is that she has 36 pages in here, but they're not duplicated. So it was really a challenge for me because I wanted to make sure that I had enough paper designs to go with each flap and fold and whatnot and so <laughs> it was a little I'm not gonna say it wasn't challenging um but I like a good challenge so let me show you what I put together I'm like really excited for it so here is the mini album or folio um that I put together I will link the tutorial down below as to what I followed Pretty much did this one, yeah, exactly as I was watching. Um, so here's the front. And I matted it only because the paper pad was 6 by 8 And this folio, I believe, is 8.5. Yeah, 8.5 by 4.5. So obviously I had enough width, but not enough height. So here is the spine and here is the back now i have this closure here with some ribbon i found in my stash so when you open this up you will see dun, 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 dun. oh well these are extra cut aparts sorry this is basically what you see inside so you will have a envelope flap here on your left and a waterfall on your right and let's take a closer look shall we so what I did here on the left hand side was created um, an envelope style I guess with a gusset um, it is held on with magnets and inside you will find a traveler's notebook which will be included with the album so basically you can add pictures or journal entries however you use your traveler's notebook but I thought this was a cool folio um, so this will live in here and that closes with that and then on the right hand side you have another um, ribbon closure again I found in my stash and you have a few uh, areas to put photos and then you have a little pocket here and as you can see it just goes in like that and then when that closes each flap opens and has some more cute treasures so here on the left hand side again it has the magnetic closures and here I had um, put like a title uh, ledger entry. You can obviously use it as it is or you can put photos on it. I also have two areas of pockets. Now I didn't want to mat these or actually this one has an open closure. I didn't want to mat these because I am going to be including extra cut aparts with this album. So that way you can mat them how you want only because I'm not sure what intention the person's going to have, if they're going to put photos or journal entries or whatever they would like. So I'm just letting you know that's why. But I wanted to give you the paper in case that person didn't have it. And then this one is just a solid cardstock piece to do the same thing with. And that goes here. So that one being outside, and again, it has a metal. See, so it stays down so it supports it on the right hand side which i found this super cute also has a, med a magnet closure as well and then here is a solid piece but check this out guys i've never seen this before each one flaps yeah you got that right it flaps this is flat but again you can put a journal entry you can put pictures you can put whatever you you want but each one goes down and then here are the little cut aparts that would go in it. You could obviously put something else in here if you'd like. But um, 
I thought it was super cute and perfect how these cutter parts just fit in here like this. I have them come out a little bit more. You can see how far down it goes. But that way you can see the little words. And then this one is just a little tag. So again, magnets. And then again, these are the cutter parts that will be with the album. This album will be in my store up for sale if you're interested. And these are extra cutter parts that will go with the purchase. So that way you can use them as you need to or as you want to. If you don't use them at all, that's okay. But I believe it's, I feel like, you know, when you, when you purchase an album, if you don't have that kind of stuff or if you're not a scrap, scrapbooker, you, you don't want to go out and buy additional things. So I thought that that would be a nice touch. So these will go with it. Probably just put it like that. And then we just close it and then tie it up and that is it. So what did you guys think? Isn't this something very different? I've really never seen anything like this. I mean, you could probably use different material, maybe do um, like for recipes or something like that. Um, but I thought this was a very um, versatile option and the paper pad just, I felt went with it. So thank you guys for watching. And if you like the content, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. Um, so hit that subscribe button and so that way you're notified for future content. If you're interested again in this album, the link below to my website where this item is for sale will be down below. And I would love to hear from you. So please leave me a comment and hope you have a fantastic day no matter what time of day you're watching. And I will catch you on the next one. Have a good one.